Hello and welcome. I'm going to be covering my approach to setting up naturalistic lighting in Unreal Engine using the Hemisphere plugin. So first, you need to purchase the Hemisphere plugin. I will put the link in the description, or you can find it by going to the Unreal Engine marketplace and typing in Hemisphere and choosing Hemisphere plugin. It will take you to the Hemisphere plugin page where you can purchase it if you so choose. And then you want to click install to engine, which I've already done. In addition to the plugin, you will also need one of their HDR time lapses. They provide two free ones here, or you can purchase one from their page. Once you've purchased it, you can add it to your project and you're good to go. Once you've added the plugin to your engine version and the time lapse to your Unreal Engine project that you're working with, you need to enable the plugin. And to do this, you go up to edit plugins, and I'm going to type in hemisphere. You want to check this on. All right, next we need to add the hemisphere sky to our map. And to do this, I'm going to click on the hemisphere button up at the top. It says no hemisphere sky actors found in your scene. Would you like to add one? Click yes. And you can see it drops a hemisphere sky blueprint into your map. And I say it's a blueprint because it contains a bunch of stuff inside of it that I will walk through now. First, we have a sky, which is the actual sky geometry that creates the dome. Then we also have a sky light underneath that, as well as an exponential height fog, an atmosphere, a post-processing volume, and a skylight. So in the past where you would have a directional light, a skylight, and a post-processing volume, when you're using the Hemisphere plugin, it is all contained within this one blueprint. The first thing I do is click on the top node in the Hemisphere blueprint, and you'll notice that under the time-lapse tab, um, it's actually just automatically playing forwards, and I can actually update this play speed, and the sky starts moving a little bit quicker. I'm actually going to turn off auto-play and choose a specific time that I think will look best for my shot. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm feeling like this is a little bit washed out, like it doesn't have all of the luminance that I might expect from a sky. So I'm gonna scroll down here to the Sun tab, and you'll notice that there's a setting here called Sun Illuminance Subtraction. I want to change this to zero so that it doesn't subtract any of the luminance from the HDR that I'm using for the sky. All right. Next, we need to dig into this blueprint a little bit further. For the most part, I've had the top node of the blueprint selected. Now I'm going to click on the post-processing volume that's contained within this blueprint. I'm going to scroll down, and the first thing I'm going to do is check on the enabled checkbox. I am not sure why this is unchecked by default, but there you go. Next, I will turn on some of the ray tracing settings that I use click on rendering features. I will scroll down to ray tracing global illumination. Check that on and change it to brute force. This is already looking a lot better. Next, I would like to work on these shadows a little bit and make them a little bit softer. So to do that, I'm gonna click on the sunlight. I'm gonna scroll to source angle here. and I'm gonna increase the source angle to five and you'll notice that the shadows softened as they get farther away from the object. This helps simulate how high the sun is in the sky when you're lighting your scene. If the sun was directly overhead, you get much harsher shadows. In this case, it's kind of a longer shadow, so I'm kind of increasing the dispersion of the shadow as it, as it gets farther away from the object. Next, I'm gonna add a LUT, and if I select the post-processing volume again, I expand color grading, and then I expand miscellaneous. You'll notice that there is a color grading LUT uh, checkbox, which I will turn on. A LUT is a color lookup table, and it's basically something that you can use to grade your scene, a preset, uh, let's call it. So I'm gonna go over to my content browser next, select the engine content folder, and type in LUT. If you don't see the engine content folder, you can simply enable it by selecting view options down here, 
and checking on show engine content. These are some basic LUTs that ship with Unreal Engine, and I will use the afternoon one and drag it into the color grading LUT field here. Next, I think I'll add a little bit of dust to the lens, and to do this, I will scroll up to the lens tab here, expand the dirt mask tab, check it on, and I'll select an image that I used for dirt on the lens. I'm gonna turn on the dirt mask intensity and increase it to something like 20. And you'll notice that it gives the effect that the light is shining on the lens and picking up some of the dusts and artifacts that you might have on a physical lens. And now I might go back to the top node here and just play around with the time of day till I get something that fits the mood that I'm going for for my shot. All right, so those are the settings that I tend to use when setting up my naturalistic lighting in my projects. Let me know if this was helpful for you, and if I can answer any questions in the comments, I will. Good luck.